What's up guys, Groovy Guitar Dude here with a beginner guitar tutorial for Crisis by Joshua Bassett. If this video helps you out, hit that like and subscribe button, and the guitar that we're jamming on today is called a Faith Blood Moon Neptune. Guys, the first thing that you want to know to play Crisis on guitar is that we're going to be in standard tuning and we will not need a capo to play this song. The next thing that you want to know to play Crisis on guitar is the structure of this song. We're going to start with a verse, then go to pre-chorus, and then chorus. Then we're going to go verse, and then chorus, and we'll have a short bridge, and we'll finish up the song with one last chorus. And the last thing that you want to know before we dive into Crisis is the five chords that we need to play this song. The first one is D. The next one is G. The next one is B minor 7. The next one is A, and the last one is A over F sharp. And I'll have chord charts for all those in the pinned comment below for those of you who need them. And with all that in mind, guys, let's dive into Crisis. Guys, Crisis is a beautiful new song from Joshua Bassett. I've gotten a lot of requests to teach some of his music, and this is actually the first one of his songs that I've heard, so I'm really stoked to share it with y'all today. So with all that in mind, the first thing that we're gonna take a look at is what we're playing for our verses and our choruses in this song. Our chord progression for our verses and our choruses is gonna be D, G, B minor 7, A over F sharp, and then back to G. And that chord progression will repeat through all of our verses and our choruses. And you notice that there's some chords there that have stars next to them, and that's because we're playing those chords for a half measure or half as long as all of the other chords, which will make a little bit more sense and I'll explain a little bit better whenever we get into our picking pattern. But before we dive into our picking pattern, you need to know what bass notes are. If you don't know what bass notes are, all they are is just the lowest note of whatever chord we're playing. So for this song, we have five different chords. The bass notes for each one of those chords is for the G chord, it's gonna be on the low E string. And then for the A over F sharp, it's gonna be on the low E string as well. And then from there, we're on to the B minor seven. The B minor seven is gonna have an A string bass note. And then the A chord is gonna have an A string bass note as well. And then the last chord, D, is gonna have a D string bass note. So those are all of our bass notes for this song. Make sure you have a pretty good grasp on those because we'll be using those for our picking pattern throughout the entire song. So pretty important to get those down before we move much further. So with all of those bass notes in mind, let's take a look at the picking pattern we'll be using for most of the song. For most of the song, our picking pattern is gonna be bass note followed by G and B together. Just like that. We'll apply that picking pattern to each chord. And for all of our non-starred chords, the ones that are not half measure, we'll play that eight times. So it'll go bass note, G and B, eight times. So kind of like. About like that. So with that picking pattern in mind, let's do a little walkthrough of our verse and chorus chord progression and kind of break that down chord by chord. We'll start with our D chord here. For our D chord, we're gonna have bass note, G and B. So our bass note on that one is our D string, and then we'll do G and B together. We'll do that eight times because it's a non-starred chord. So. Then we're under our next chord, which is a G chord. For our G chord, our bass note's gonna be on the low E string. We're gonna stick there with that G and B at the same time for the second part of that picking pattern. Same thing here, non-starred chord, so we get eight times. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Next, we're on to that B minor seven. B minor seven is a starred chord. So like I said, this is a half measure. We're gonna play this one half as long as the non-starred chords. So this one's gonna get four times through that picking pattern. And our bass note for this one is gonna be on the A string. So we've got A and then G and B at the same time. We'll do that four times. So one, two, three, four. And then we go to that A over F sharp. For this one, our bass note is gonna be on the low E string. And we're gonna pick that same thing, low E and then G and B at the same time. We'll do that four times for the half measure starred chord. So we got one, two, three, four. And we go to that last G chord, non-starred chord, same as the first G that we played, low E and G and B at the same time. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just like that. And that right there is gonna repeat through all the verses and the choruses. That's the main part of the song. It's gonna play through probably about 85 or 90% of the song. So with all that in mind, guys, a couple times through the chord progression and the picking pattern that's gonna repeat through all of the verses and choruses on Crisis will look about like this without me talking.
there, guys, where Endo's being played for our pre-chorus. And this is a really, really short part of the song. There's just one pre-chorus, and it's pretty much over as soon as it starts. It's a really, really quick little section. But we have a really short chord progression with that same picking pattern we just used that plays, I believe, twice before we go into the first chorus. So that chord progression for that pre-chorus is going to be A for a half measure, so start A chord. And then B minor 7, so same thing here, half measure for that one. And then G for a full measure. So non-start on that G. And like I said, I think that plays through twice before the first chorus, and that's the only place in the song that we hear it. And then same thing here, guys. We're going to have that same bass note and then G and B together for that picking pattern right there as well. So a little walkthrough of that. we got the A chord here. A chord is going to be A string and then G and B at the same time. That's a half measure one, so we'll do it four times. So we got one, two, three, four. Then we go to B minor seven, half measure. One, two, three, four. And then G. This is a full measure, so we play it eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And just for clarification, the bass note on the A chord is the A string. Bass note on the B minor seven is the A string as well. And then on the G chord, that's going to be under low E string. So that's pretty much it, guys. Like I said, it's a very short part of the song. If you've gotten this far with the verse and chorus that you already played, you'll have no problem with this. It's a very short part of the song, and we have that same kind of picking pattern there as well. So with all that in mind, guys, a couple times through the chord progression and picking pattern that we're going to repeat twice through on the pre-chorus for Crisis will look about like this without me talking. <laughs> And finally, guys, the last thing that you want to know to play Crisis on guitar is what we're playing for our bridge. For our bridge, we're going to have two pretty short chord progressions and a very simple strum pattern to go along with them. So let's take a look at our chord progressions. Our chord progressions for our bridge are going to be D, A over F sharp, G, and then we're going to go B minor 7, A over F sharp, and back to G just like that. And that's only gonna play through once for each chorus. And you might already kind of be able to tell, but what we're gonna do for this is just a single down strum for each chord. So really all you have to think about here is the timing. It's pretty straightforward. Single down strums are pretty beginner friendly, but a little walkthrough so you can get the timing of it will look about like this. Start with our D chord here. We're gonna go D, A over F sharp, G. Then we'll go D minor seven, A over F sharp, and that's kind of a rough idea of what the timing is like. Pretty much all those chords will hang out the same amount of time, except for the G chords at the end. Those will hang out a little bit longer. Those will be kind of like a, almost kind of like how we did in our pre-choruses. That last chord will be the kind of whole full measure that we hold out just a little bit longer. So with all that in mind, guys, pretty straightforward. Nothing too crazy here on the bridge. But once through that whole chord progression, strum pattern situation we'll be doing for our bridge on Crisis will look about like this without me talking. And guys, that's everything that you need to know to play Crisis on guitar. As always, if you have any questions, you can hit me up in the comments down below. I'm usually pretty quick getting back to those. And again, if this video helps you out, hit that subscribe button. I have about 900 other guitar and ukulele lessons on this channel. And I usually try to post at least three to five new lessons every single week. So if you're learning guitar or ukulele, there cannot be a more perfect channel for you to check out. Hit up my Instagram, at the Groovy Guitar Dude, if you want to see what I'm up to in between videos and drop off some song requests. And lastly, guys, if you need a little extra help with this song or any other aspect of beginner guitar, you can hit up this link right up here to book a one-on-one -on -one lesson with me. Guys, Crisis is a beautiful new song from Joshua Bassett. I'm stoked to share it with y'all. I actually have gotten so many requests to teach some more of his music, and this is actually the first song of his that I've checked out, really. And I dig it. It just came out not that long ago, and I love this style of playing. It's, it's just one of my favorites whenever you have kind of a chord progression like this, and then you've got a picking pattern structured around that chord progression. It's one of my favorite things to play. A lot of my favorite songs to play have the same kind of structure as this song does. So, like I said, nothing too terribly crazy here. There are some funky chords in there, like that A over F sharp might be new for some of you guys, and the B minor 7 might be a little tricky for some people, but it's still pretty beginner friendly as well. So. Nothing too crazy. The picking is a little bit quick on this, but nothing too complicated. Even if you're a beginner, just start slow and then work on building up your speed as you get it down. So guys, I had a lot of fun learning this song. I hope you guys have a lot of fun learning it as well. And hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see y'all soon.